No other natural disaster has the explosive force of volcanoes. Their eruptions can send ash plumes dozens of miles into the sky and unleash rivers of 2,000 degree Fahrenheit lava. But the biggest eruptions of all come from supervolcanoes, which have the ability to impact life around the planet. They have done so in the past, and they will happen again. Michael Manga is a geologist at the University of California, Berkeley, and is funded by the National Science Foundation. He's learning a lot about the threat of supervolcanoes today by looking at one that took place long ago. 750,000 years ago, this beautiful area in the Sierra Nevada mountains of Northern California was the scene of an Armageddon. A volcanic eruption occurred that was so large it collapsed the mouth of the volcano and left a 20 mile wide crater called a caldera. Known as the Long Valley Caldera, this supervolcano's eruption spread debris across the western half of the United States, and its impacts were felt around the world. The smallest particles produced by this eruption are distributed across the whole planet. You can find them in sediments pulled out of the Pacific Ocean. Many adults today remember when the Mount St. Helens volcano in Washington State erupted in 1980, killing 57 people. The ash cloud it created reached 15 miles high. As cataclysmic as the Mount St. Helens eruption was, it pales in comparison to the eruption at Long Valley. When this eruption occurred, the big caldera forming eruption, it would have been basically a thousand times bigger than Mount St. Helens in terms of the mass eruption. Geologist Michael Manga has been studying the Long Valley Caldera to not only research this epic natural disaster, but also to understand the behavior of volcanoes around the world in order to better predict their impacts. Our interest is understanding how and why volcanoes erupt, why they exist. But by studying fossil or old volcanoes like Long Valley, we can get a better understanding of how volcanoes work. Volcanoes come in all shapes and sizes, from flat shield volcanoes like Kilauea in Hawaii to towering straddle volcanoes like Mount St. Helens. But the characteristics of a volcano are determined by what's happening deep below the Earth's surface. Almost all volcanoes are ultimately controlled by what's happening deep underneath the crust in a place we call the mantle. When mantle inside the Earth rises vertically, when it gets close to the surface, it can start to melt. This produces magma made partly of molten rock that rises through fractures in the Earth's crust. Various combinations of molten rock and gases are pushed further to the surface, causing pressure to build up until there is a rupture, triggering a volcanic eruption. But in a supervolcano, the magma is unable to push through the crust and it pools to form massive magma chambers. Over time, the pressure continues to build until the crust finally gives way in an explosion several miles wide. These supervolcanoes, they're so big that it's hard to imagine how big the er uh, eruption would have been. The Long Valley Caldera is only one example. There is another supervolcano in the United States that geologists are watching even more closely. The other place most famous for its supervolcanoes is Yellowstone National Park. We can see magma, molten rock, under the ground. So there's a good chance at some point in the future there will be an eruption. The famous geysers and hot springs at Yellowstone are all examples of volcanic activity caused by magma below the surface. If Yellowstone were to have a super eruption today, not only could it interrupt your weekend flight plans, it could also impact agriculture on a massive scale and even alter the climate. So much, in fact, that it could endanger certain species with extinction, including humans. But enough is known about volcanoes that Manga believes, for now at least, Yellowstone is still biding its time. There's no reason to think there'll be an eruption any time in the very near future. With the help of scientists like Manga, more is being learned about the behavior of volcanoes and the magma inside them. The research will help improve the ability to predict not just when a volcano will erupt, but also what the eruption will look like. Information that could save thousands of lives.